Well, Gregorio with Coach Peter Martin. As a late Malik Sian, able to get that to fall. You talked about execution a while ago, and Jumer Fajardo was a key part of that in the first quarter, Coach. Yes. Who has yet to register a point here. He's just been doing a lot here that's not seen on the, on the box score. As a late Malik Sian attacks. And oh, oh Brandon Bates with the follow! Third offensive rebound. Here's Alain. He's going to miss this, but Brandon Bates is right there, and Jutmar is not in the picture. This best move of the game is brought to you by Honda, the official motorcycle of the PBA. And Alain will tell all of us that that was actually a pass. <laughs> the Morocco Bolts fans, coach, they are now finally up and about with the effort being shown by the guys in navy blue. Oh, Terence Romeo is swinging to Andrew Cara. Can't drain the three ball, but take a look at Bates coming in for the offensive rebound. Yusuf gives it back to Bonquinto. Quinto on the drive and gets the lay-in. Working on Ancho Cara. Again, he has a size advantage here. That time, the tap from Jansen Rios off the hip of Terrence Romeo. Very well without the ball. Active hands here for the Maralco Bolts, and it almost results in a turnover. But Junmar gets it inside and blocked from behind by Cliff Hodge. First quarter, 29 points for San Miguel. Only two points here in the second quarter. And we are at the five minutes played here in the second. So San Miguel struggling big time because of that Maralco defense. CJ Perez. When Junmar is on the bench. Here's Banquero working on Protial. Banquero, the sidestep, the finish. Very patient move there. Because this has been turning into a sprint race here that Peralco have been feasting on. Here's Bon Quinto. Jansen Rios. Pull up jumper. Gets that ball. It's a one-point game once again. Cliff Hodge up top on the attack. Working on Jimmer Fajardo. The second chance point after the offensive rebound there for Raymond Amazan. Here's Chris Banquero. Loses it to Chris Ross. Good hands there from Chris. Finding CJ Perez on the attack. On the move. And a foul from Cliff Hodge. Because Cliff Hodge has taken advantage of that matchup. Another turnover here, and Marshall Lasseter is off to the races. Marshall attacks and scores! A little bump there from CJ Perez. Chris Bonquero felt that. Yusuf getting free here, working against Chris Ross. Gets oh. the bucket in one! Let's take a look at that again. There's the extension, the reach. And a part of the crowd are suggesting that it was all ball based on that replay. Can't really tell from that angle. But either way, the referee made the decision and it looks like Coach George Gallen he will try to challenge it. And Jumar was the more active member offensively for the San Miguel Beer Man. They were getting it all done as Chris Ross able to get the finish and won. As we take a look at that again, Chris Ross Getting the basket and one. And again, they were able to weather that play, which is basically perpetual motion from the Manalco Bolts. And here's Junmar Fajardo inside for his first field goal of the second quarter. Bonquito could not get the runner to fall. And now do it. 51 to 40 in favor of the San Miguel Beermen here at the halftime break.